Hi everyone, this is Nicole Schumann, Social Media Editor from This Built America, and we are here with Mike Chance, the President of Chance Rides, an amusement ride builder out in Wichita, Kansas. Hi Mike, how are you today? I'm fantastic, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, so I guess one of the first questions that we had um, was what was your favorite ride growing up as a kid and do you still ride it today? Oh yeah, I rode it, I ride everything. I, I, uh, I'd probably say I'm, I'm a roller coaster nut so um, my favorite coaster I think is probably the one at uh, Worlds of Fun, it's called the Mamba. It's a 200 foot hyper coaster and it, it's a it's a pretty wild ride, so it's still one of my favorites. <laughs> and you guys built that ride? Yep, yep. That's, that's pretty amazing to think about that. Well, great. Um, all right, so basically, how long have you been with Chance? Well, I guess, uh, you know, all my life, sort of. Um, grew up in the business, around the business, worked, uh, kind of worked in the shop, different areas, and junior high and high school and then I decided I wanted to have a, a normal job like uh, like my friend so went to Pizza Hut for a couple of years and waited tables and did that through high school and went to college at Kansas State and uh, got out of the got out of the state and went to Arizona for a couple of years and uh, then uh, my dad asked me if I wanted to come back and get in the family business and I did I guess that was close to 15 years ago so I've uh, been, been back ever since and doing different things, mostly in the sales and marketing side of things, and, but a lot in the operations side too. So it's, uh, it's quite a ride. You left the pizzas behind for bigger I things. Did, I did. I, I, still, uh, I think I could still do it if I had to. <laughs> That's nice. Um, so what, what did you go to school for? Um, you know, did it you know, really coincide with uh, building rides at all or anything in engineering? No, um, I wasn't smart enough to be an engineer, so I went for uh, uh, business and marketing. So that's uh, that's what I got my degree in. I've always enjoyed the marketing side of the business and the relationship side of the business and getting to know the customers and finding out more about their businesses and, you know, what, what they need to make them successful. So that's, that's kind of, that's what I really enjoy. Um, you know, like we kind of forget about what we do sometimes here at the factory. You know, you, you're you're there and you're building things, and you know you don't always realize that um, until you go on site and see the rides in action that you know people are really having fun and a good time, and and uh, you know it kind of opens your eyes a little bit to the other side of the business. Well, you work in marketing, so I mean, a lot of what you do is business to business, obviously, because you're selling to other businesses. Um, and like you said, you do get to you know see people on the rides on on occasion. Do you do any kind of marketing to the consumers? You know, we we don't do a lot. You know, we started doing a little bit more social media here and uh, kind of directly to the consumers. But you know, our customers are so dialed into that. You know, that's really you know you can imagine amusement parks and carnivals and zoos and those, that sort of thing. They they you know they really. You know what they try to do is build a marketing campaign around what we do. You know if they're putting in a new ride or a new roller coaster, um, and we help them. You know I think that's we we try to get good video footage and all that kind of fun stuff for them so that they can help market their uh, their attractions. Oh yeah, you guys have fantastic videos of the rides. I think that's probably one of your best uh, marketing points on your on YouTube. Yeah. Um, uh, basically, oh, what was I going to say here? Um, so, what types of rides? I know you guys do the coasters. Um, what other types of rides do you manufacture? You know, we build all kinds of things. You know, we build. Uh, we're kind of, um, I guess, world famous for our carousels and our carousel art. Uh, we have um, uh, over over sixty different carousel figure molds, all different kinds of animals and any kind of zoo creature that you can imagine. We've got a mold for it and. Um, we've got some, well, not some, I'd say we have the most talented, uh, artists in the world that work here. And, um, you know, you can, that's kind of our signature in terms of the carousels is, is the, uh, figures and how they're painted and the amount of detail that goes into them. So 
that's a big product for us. Uh, the trains, uh, CP Huntington train, still a still a big seller for us. That's kind of what got our company started. My grandfather started building those in the early '60s. Um, he got his first uh, his first big order from um, the St. Louis Zoo when uh, Marlon Perkins was there. So uh, I think he sold him three or four trains, and that kind of put him on the map and got him going. Um, so we built those. We built amphibious duck tour vehicles, something we've been doing for five or six years. Uh, we built all kinds of, um, they call them uh, flat rides in, in, in our business, uh, like a swinging ship. We call it the Pharaoh's Fury. Uh, we have a new ride called the Freestyle that's um, also transportable for the, uh, for the carnival industry. Um, so just, I, I think we have um, over 20 different uh, different products that that, um, that we have in our in our catalog right now. So it's a little bit of everything, and any more everything, even if it's the same, it's a little bit different. So you know, what used to kind of be more of a standardized product has really turned into a customized product, especially with theming and different intellectual properties that um, you know the parks want to use and and uh, to help market their their stuff. So uh, a little bit of everything. What is um, one of the biggest parks that you guys are in? Wow, um, you know we were in we we're in all the big parks, different different facets. I mean, Cedar Points um, got some of our rides up there. They're they're a big park, uh, probably the best park in the country in terms of, of rides. We have a lot of rides in this, all the Six Flags parks. There's several big ones. One in Dallas. There's one in California, Magic Mountain. There's one in Chicago and Gurney, Illinois. So I'd say over the years, over the you know the 50 plus years that we've been doing it, I'm, I'm pretty sure we have rides in just about every park in the country. I know you guys um, do build roller coasters. What, a, what um, is the most requested ride that you guys um, get orders for? Oh, I you know I think our kind of our standard sellers are certainly the the trains and the carousels and the trams, which is was something I didn't mention before. That they're they're basically uh, people movers that zoos and uh, Disney and those type of, of uh, places use to move people, you know, to the front gate or even around the around their facilities. So they'll they'll pull you know up to 105 people with one one uh, unit, so high capacity. So those are pretty standard, <clears throat> you know. The roller coasters. We try to do, we try to do two or three big projects a year. So we'll try to do a, a big roller coaster. Uh, we've gotten into the observation wheel business. We have a brand new one that's getting ready to open in uh, outside of Washington D.C. at National Harbor on the 22nd. Um, it's a 180 foot observation wheel that overlooks. Uh, it's actually uh, right over the Potomac River, overlooking Washington D.C. So. We're pretty excited about that. We've got a new coaster that's opening in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, at Kentucky Kingdom. Um, actually, we're going there tomorrow. They have a, a pre-opening event with all the American coaster enthusiasts are coming in um, to take their first ride. Um, so we'll do that, and we've got a, a, a new uh, people mover product that's going to uh, a brand new um, international orangutan exhibit in uh, the Indianapolis Zoo that's opening Memorial Weekend too. So we've got. We've had a really busy year and some very unique and challenging product projects, but um, it's been a lot of fun too. That's great. Um, I know the online on social media, the coaster enthusiasts were very uh, responsive to our story. They they loved it. So uh, very, that, that, that was pretty cool to see. Yeah, they're a very passionate group. Yeah, definitely. Um, about how long does it take to build something like a coaster, and, and how many people are involved? Oh, wow. I'd say, you know, the one we did for Kentucky Kingdom that we just finished, it's called Lightning Run. It's about it's 100 feet tall on the lift, and it's got about 2,500 feet of uh, track and two trains. Um, and it takes about a year from start to finish, from the time that you get the order to the time that you actually open it to the park or open it to the public. So, um, and I'd say, you know, we've got about 150 employees and, and I say, uh, you know, most all of them at least had something to do with the project at some point in time, um, either on the, you know, project management side or building it or engineering it or, um, you know, all different kinds of things. So a lot, a lot of people are involved and we work with some outside resources too for engineering that we collaborate with. So, um, on certain specialized things like the control system and 
different things like that. So a lo lot of people are involved, and it's a it's a big project. And that's we always joke that uh, everything always changes during the project except the opening date. So you always have to. Uh, my birthday is May 26. I always joke with my wife that I think I was born uh, Memorial Weekend for for a reason because that's um, that's a big weekend for our customers. So it's always a little bit of a high stress month, but um, it's fun to see all the projects coming together too. Yeah, it's worth it. So if someone did want to work at a company like yours, you know, making rides, designing rides, what would you suggest that they, you know, maybe go to school for, or study, um, or or do a trade or something like that? What what would they have to do? You know, I'd say um, on the uh, the technical side. I mean, obviously, engineering uh, plays a huge part. I mean, there's there's a lot of um, obviously safety is paramount in our business, and and making sure that um, you know the rides are designed to meet all the the uh, standards that are in place to keep everything safe. And uh, engineering is is uh, kind of the driving the driving force behind all that. So. Uh, certainly, mechanical, electrical engineering are very important. Um, you know, our, our our trade guys are uh, are very important too. We have some uh, incredible welders, uh, certified welders. We do we do hundreds of thousands of tons of uh, steel fabrication a year, and um, those guys are amazing what they can do and the amount of time that they have to work with and still keep the quality up. So, um, those guys are great. We have guys in final assembly that kind of put it all together at the end. Uh, those guys are amazing too, and they really have their um, their backs against the wall. They're kind of the the last step before we can ship. So they always get the least amount of the time and the and the most pressure. Um, so it, you know it, it really does. It takes takes to and it's probably true for all business, but especially in our business, it really does take everybody to get the job done. And we've got some really great dedicated people here, and that's. That's really what what makes this place work. It's um, it's amazing to to see some of the people that have been here for a long time and how much pride they take in in their work and how 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 much pride they take in the company and how dedicated they are. It it really it, it amazes me and humbles me every day. Well, they built beautiful pieces, so that's you know that's right, rightfully so. Um, I know how important your business is to Wichita and you know the people that are employed there. Um, how do you feel about American manufacturing and, and the direction it's going in? Um, I know you guys are the largest amusement ride builder uh, in America. Um, do you you know your competitors, things like that? Uh, what do you see you know going on in the world of manufacturing here? Well, I think you know. Obviously, we believe in manufacturing. That's kind of how it, my my grandfather started. We a lot of our competitors don't really build anything. They're more um, uh, engineering firms and and project management firms. And so we're pretty unique in that we we build a lot of it. We really build all of it here. And um, so we have a we have a lot of different competencies. And I think that makes us stronger. We're able to do things on a tighter deadline. We have more control over our quality and our processes. We're not so reliant on on other people and their schedules and what they have, we have we have the ability to to get things done. So I'd say it's very important. I you know I I believe in it. I you know I can say that it, it is getting more and more difficult. I mean uh, most of our most of our competitors are actually uh, European. Um, the Europeans are, are uh, very tough competitors in our business. They they have uh, very good products and um, they're over here uh, aggressively marketing. Their products because this is you know, obviously one of the biggest markets in the world for amusement products. So, um, but um, you know, I'm I'm hopeful. You know, we have a in Wichita, we have a very good good workforce. We have, um, you know, I'd say, you know, uh, you kind of have to focus on what you're what you're good at, and you know, you you don't you don't really um, you, the product development piece of it, and always making sure that you've got something new and fresh is really the key. Um, it's always going to be cheaper or theoretically cheaper to manufacture things overseas, but uh, uh, you know we 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 try to we try to do things that are new and different and unique that really can only be done here, and that's kind of what keeps us competitive. Excellent. Um, I was gonna, in in addition to that, you know, what are some of the challenges that you guys face? Oh, um, let's see. You know, I'd say just like all businesses. I mean, 
costs costs keep going up. You know, it's uh, healthcare costs are a, are a big 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 portion of our of our expense, and and um, you know that's a difficult thing to control. Um, my sister actually started a, a wellness program here. She's doing a great job with that. We just had our had my wellness screening this morning, and uh, checked out okay. So I was I was happy about that. But um, things like that, um, you know, obviously in, in the United States, uh, it's a very um, uh, we're a very uh, litigious society. So um, you know, product liability, um, insurance, and those costs and things are, are always a, a big chunk. So. You know, I'd say that's those are the those are some of the biggest challenges that we have, and just you know, overall, just doing new things. I mean, whenever you start, whenever you start a project with a clean sheet of paper, um, there's always a lot of risk involved. Um, you can kind of estimate what the costs are going to be and what the resources are going to take, but you really don't know until you actually do it. And um, I can uh, I can testify that there's a there's there's always a lot of changes that take place along the way. What you think is a path that you're going to take in the beginning. Uh, almost is never the path that you end up uh, on at the end of the project. So uh, you have to be fast. You have to be flexible. You have to be, um, you know, have have capabilities to do those kind of things. So uh, that's that's the important stuff, anyway. So trying new things and taking risks uh, is definitely worth it. Absolutely. You know, that's really what gets me out of bed in the morning. I mean, uh, we we'd probably we we could probably have a smaller company. And uh, you know, do less risky things, um, and uh, you know, probably make it make it just fine. But um, you know, I really enjoy doing the new projects, and I, I know my dad does too. And um, you know, that's kind of what that's what keeps us uh, energized, and I think it also keeps our our people energized too. They they like to they like to see you talk to all the people out on the shop floor, and that's what, that's one of the things they always say they like about their job is that it's something different every day. You know, we're not. We're not pounding out, uh, you know, uh, Pizza Hut pans. We're, you know, we're, we're thousands by the day. We're, you know, we're, we're building different things all the time, and it seems like no two of them are ever quite exactly the same. So there's there's a lot of variety. That's great. Um, what is the greatest advice that you've received, or advice that you would give to someone, uh, you know, that's maybe starting out in a business, or you know, looking to open a business, um, what, what would you suggest? Well, I would say, and I, don't, I, don't, I certainly don't consider myself the smartest guy in the world, so I don't, I don't always rely on that, but I've always been, uh, I learned from my father and my grandfather to be persistent, and, um, you know, that's one of, my, one of the things my, grand, my grandfather always said was, uh, you, you only lose if you give up. So um, we always kind of have that um, mantra around here, and um, you know, you only lose if you quit, and we're not quitters. So um, you know, you're, there's always going to be challenges, there's always going to be tough days, but uh, you got to persevere, and you got to you got to fight through. Sometimes, when even when things uh, look bleak or they they look like they're going to be impossible, um, you know, they're really not. You, and you will, um, I've been amazed just at, at what what people are able to accomplish uh, when they work together and um, you know you get people um, from all different all different kinds of brains all different kinds of thinking all together working on uh, one goal and it, it really is cool to see it all come together that's great um, what's going on for the future of chance um, anything exciting coming up I know you said you had the the big observation wheel that will be opening in D.C. Um, any other sorts of projects or, or changes coming up? Um, you know, we're going to, uh, we're, we're real excited about the wheel. We like the, you know, the, the observation wheel business is kind of new for us. It's, uh, you know, not traditional, you know, amusement park or carnival business. They're more standalone type of attractions, tourist attractions. Um, so those have been, those have been fun and we see a, we see a good future. Uh, with more of those types of uh, types of wheels, we're really excited about our new coaster. My dad and I rode it for the first time. We were actually the first riders on it. You can go on our YouTube site and see we've got a GoPro camera on our faces. So everybody laughs because we didn't let go of the uh, the grab handle the whole way. But we were the first riders. We were the first humans to ride it after the sandbags, and um, it's a it's a heck of a ride. So I'm I'm real excited about that. It's called Lightning Run. 
and they're opening, I think, officially on uh, May 24th in Louisville. So the, the park's actually reopening, and this is going to be their signature coaster. So we're real excited about it. We're excited about the SkyQuest project in, in Indianapolis at the Indy Zoo. That's a, that's a huge exhibit that they're opening, and this is kind of a, a way to observe the, <clears throat> the orangutans in the exhibit at a kind of an eye level up high. So, um, you know, which was a very, very unique and challenging project. So, you know, I, I, I think, uh, you know, keep, keep doing what we're doing. You know, I think, um, you know, try to, try to focus on what we're good at, but uh, always keep an eye out towards, um, you know, what's, what's new and what's, what's coming down the pike. I mean, that's really the key to our business is, is what's new, what's, what's the latest and what's different. And uh, all our customers are looking for products that are going to help di differentiate them from their competition and help them grow. So we've got to, we've got to keep a, a close eye on that kind of stuff too. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time and thank you again for letting us tell your story. You know, it was great. It's a really fun topic and look forward to seeing all sorts of new rides for you guys and, you know, just keep, keep up the good work. Thank you. You guys, I want to say to you guys did a great job. You have a great team and I thought the, the finished product was fantastic. So kudos to you guys. All right. Thank you so much, and keep riding the roller coasters for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks so much, Mike. All right. Bye.